gang, this is Ian with Humbucker Soup today to talk about using a McCartney style bass line in a chord progression. And when we referred to Paul McCartney, we were talking about how he would use a specific set of notes to play over a chord progression in a lot of the different styles of music that they covered. We're going to look at some general ideas that implicate those bass lines and how to get those into your own style. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to think about is what we mean when we say McCartney style bass line. In the intro riff, we had a little thing that kind of emphasizes these notes that McCartney likes to use in his bass lines. Effectively, over a major chord progression, you're going to hear something like this, which is to move up from the root to a third and landing on a five. And then there's some movement that generally follows, so we're going from a one chord to a four chord. Then we go to a a uh, flat seven, back to the four, to give us a sort of Sgt. Pepper's era style Beatles song. And then you can add over that your chord progression to get this sound. And what we're doing there is we're adding these sort of big guitar sounds over a tight, compacted bass line. Now, the cool thing about this is that we can take these ideas and use them over a chord progression with a guitar, and you sort of move into what sounds almost like a Hendrixy sound. So instead of the bass line doing that, you can do that with a higher register. from these melodic movements that sound like a McCartney bass line. And so the thing that you want to start to practice is, is how to get that sound by sliding up from the two to a third. So you're going to start with a note. Let's do a, a fretted position. Let's use a D major. And we're going to play this D on the fifth fret and then use a free finger to play this E on the same string. And then slide up a whole step and landing on the five of D. So, now the cool thing about being able to do this in the McCartney style is to move from chord to chord in this fashion. So, if we're in D, we can move from the one to the four like we did in E. Now let's move down to that flat seven again, so that would be a C, and then up to a five, and then back to the one. Effectively, you can take any chord progression and just keep them major by doing this type of movement. So instead of a 1, 4, flat 7, 5, we can pick a few different chords to try. Let's go from that 1, still in D, to a minor 3rd, to a flat 7, to a 5. So that would be our 1, and a minor 3rd would be, in this case, an F. Then that flat 7 is back to C, to a 5. And what we're doing here is something that's particularly Beatlesque, which is that we're mixing modalities. We're taking a major chord progression, which is in D, and then going up a minor third to a an F, which is a dis, a distinct different modality. And then we go down to this flat seven, and then that C gets raised a half step when we go to the dominant of the chord. So the whole thing would go. And these are great ways of connecting different chords so that we can use chords that don't necessarily fit in the same chord progression in order to make something more interesting. So now that we've looked at how to use these bass lines in the McCartney style and how to even include sort of more Hendrixy styles with the same type of playing, the cool thing is, is that we can start to use different chord progressions in our compositions, in our playing, or in an accompaniment. For instance, if we hear that there's a chord progression that seems fairly straightforward and we're supposed to accompany as a guitar player, well, then we can start to add this sort of McCartney style bass line. is the limit as to how we want to take this and use it in our own playing and ultimately the goal is to be able to kind of get this under our fingertips so that we can express ourselves in our own ways which is the goal here at Humbucker Soup. So thanks for watching and practicing with us and we'll see you next time.